kalau memang lawa di ni ya bo no so di di project management dapat ada course day bo no tu ah initiating and planning projects with course bo no ada alas blog di bo no sabi lo ni ya so we wanna be doai bo no we wanna mati dia lilo lah ya bo no bawa bawa we wanna doai dani we di course outline lilo di tali job ya lilo kube bo no ada lilo bawa 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 lo so we wanna so be doai bo no ni ya so we do sah bo lo ni ni pernah dengar tu ada bo no lo so di ni gal lo so ni ya di kerja video lilo pun si dia ni Tiwain, tiap tu mungkin aku nak itu sih yang jaga jam ni, bukan? Dulu dulu tu belum jam ni, lepas tu tu ni ngaji awal sih, bukan? Dia awal sih ajar di IT bagaian amni, belum jam ni. Cukup ajar bisnes bagaian lebih teruk amni, belum jam ni. Mungkin ni mali dua lekau ya amni ni, ini ni nama ni lah sih tu jam sih, bukan? Kau sih ni teruk jam, bukan? Lebih lebih ni tu ajar awal, bukan? Terus terus ajar awal jam sih, bukan? Di video mana ya video lepas jam sih awal. Hello, welcome to Initiating and Planning Projects. This is our first course in our Introduction to Project Management series. I'm Margaret Maloney, and it's my honor to lead you through this course, so I'm really glad you're here. After you complete this course, you will be able to identify the key characteristics of a project and identify project constraints. You will know and understand the role and responsibilities of the project manager and be familiar with the project organizational structures we frequently use to run our project. You will see why a project charter can be useful, and you will know the key elements that go into a project plan. You are going to consider what causes conflict within a project, and you will gain an understanding of the difference between authority and influence. This will help you understand more about your role and about how you wish to lead your team. Are you ready? Let's jump in. We should start with the basics. And in the very beginning of an introductory project management course, we should start with, what is a project? A project is a unique and temporary endeavor. It has a defined beginning and end. And the purpose of the project is to create a specific product or service or to make changes to a specific product or service. Let's consider some examples. If you have ever planned a large party or an event, that is a project. It was a specific party, for a specific reason, it was held on a specific date and time. That means it was unique, temporary, and had a defined beginning and end, and created a specific product or service. At work, if your office is moved, it will most likely be handled as a project. If your payroll system is replaced with a new payroll system, that's a project. If your human resources department decides to change the processes they use to recruit and interview and hire new employees, that too can be handled as a project. Now, day-to-day -day operations, they're not projects. Creating monthly financial reports is not a project. Cleaning your house, not a project. What about painting the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco? Do you think that is a project? I'm not trying to trick you. You might call it a project because it's such a large bridge and certainly painting it must require special effort and planning. Or you might say it's not a project because there's a maintenance team whose job it is to paint the bridge and when they finish, they probably start painting the bridge all over again. There are going to be times when someone you work with is going to call something a project, even if it does not fit our definition of a project. Depending on who it is, it could be because they want this specific effort to receive the attention and oversight that a project receives. An example of this could be a computer refresh. Perhaps your organization has decided that employees should have new computers every two years. Replacing them one by one is really an equipment upgrade. But if all of them are replaced at once, the entire effort may be very likely treated as a project. When you execute a project, you have certain constraints that you face. A constraint is a factor which might place limitations or restrictions on what you do or how you do it or when you do it. Now, for example, if your project is a party or an event and it has to occur on a specific date, that is a constraint. If your project is to purchase and install a new payroll system, that new system has to provide a certain functionality, yet you do not have unlimited budget. That's a constraint. If your project is to design and manufacture a new product, you might have requirements as to how much of the manufacturing can occur outside of your country. That's a constraint. As a project manager, you oversee the success of the project. You are using your knowledge and skills combined with project management tools and techniques to ensure that project objectives are met. You are the 
one who is responsible for defining that special event or that payroll system or implementation. You help to ensure that the requirements are identified, that all involved are properly represented, and that communications are clear and well-coordinated, and you lead the team to success. As we go through this course together, each area we cover is another part of your domain. When we discuss managing risks, it's because you need to ensure that your project has strong risk management. When we talk about the schedule, it is because you need to ensure that the project has a realistic schedule. The way in which your project team is structured really sets the tone for how you are going to work with your team. There are some specific structures that are used by most organizations. The basis for these organizations is the guide to the project management body of knowledge. We haven't discussed the project management body of knowledge yet, so now we will. The project management body of knowledge, or PMBOK guide, has been created for us by the Project Management Institute, or PMI. The PMI is the global professional organization for project managers. The PMI created and now updates the PMBOK guide to promote successful project management through standardized knowledge areas and processes which we use to manage our projects from start to finish. What you are learning about in this class is based upon the recommendations of the PMI and from the Guide to the Project Management Body of Knowledge. With that information in hand, let's look at some of those project organizations. First, we will look at what is called the functional organization. In a functional organization, there is little to no project management. You might not be involved as a project manager. Sometimes there can be some project coordination involved, and that coordination takes place between the functional departments. Now by functional, I mean groups such as marketing, operations, finance, information technology. Each manager of each group oversees their part of the project. Employees working on the project may or may not know there's a project. They just might recognize that their manager has asked them to do something different than usual. There's probably limited conversation between team members because they do not know they are a team. And there are probably no project team meetings. Now we're going to look at three types of matrix organizations, weak, balanced, and strong. The designation of weak, balanced, or strong has to do with who has more power or control over the project, the functional manager or the project manager. And remember that functional manager is someone who has a responsibility over a specific area and doesn't typically run projects. In a weak matrix, the functional manager is in charge and he or she will probably have the assistance of a coordinator. The project coordinator will help maintain the schedule and the status and assist the functional manager, but the coordinator is not gonna have any decision-making responsibility. Within the balanced matrix, there's a recognition that having a project manager assigned will help to ensure success. And that project manager has some decision-making responsibilities, but so does the functional manager. Project manager manages the team to stay within scope and schedule and budget. And the functional manager will make decisions as to who does the work and how that work is to be accomplished. In a strong matrix, the project manager has much more responsibility and authority, but not complete responsibility and authority. He or she still cannot make all of the decisions. Now, when we talk about a projectized organization, this is where the project manager is king or queen. The team is dedicated, works on this one project, and the project manager will act as the manager of the team, possibly even writing performance appraisals. Mm -hmm. So which one of these is the best organization? Now that's a trick question. They all have their place. For example, the functional organization works very well for groups who do not run very many projects or for projects which are not complicated and not on a tight deadline. The matrix organizations work well when team members are going to be assigned to a combination of multiple projects and also other work. And in a matrix, team members could be assigned to quite a few projects. In a matrix situation, you as the project manager, most likely you're running multiple projects. Mm -hmm. As to which matrix is best, weak, balanced, or strong? Well, the PMI would ask us to consider strong because that is where the project manager has more power. And of course, the PMI wants to see projects run by project managers who are drawing upon the best practices. But sometimes a weak matrix is good when the functional manager in charge has much of the required expertise and simply needs help with project coordination. A balanced matrix works well when it's easy to divide decision-making and responsibility between the project manager and the functional manager. 
if it makes sense for the project manager to have more of the authority in the decision making, but not all of it, and a strong metric could be the way to go. Now, a project sized organization is good for a very critical project, especially if time is of the essence. It is more expensive because you take team members and put them all on one effort, and they were doing something before, so you probably have to backfill them. But the project gets all of the focus and attention that's required. There really is a time and a place for each of the project organizations. And in fact, you'll find that some companies may use a combination of all or some, depending on the project demand. Now look at you. We started out with some basics, such as what is a project? And now you have an idea as to what you will do as a project manager and how project teams can be structured. And we're finishing up our first module. ဒီလားနေနေမှာရှိမြားတယ်ပေါ့เนาะမနေရတိုင်းမယ်သူကဘာမှာဘောဆုံးရဲ့ဆိုကြည့်နေတာပေါ့เนาะဒါမှာမ
ยายนอกคัดเลยตะกลงนี่เราไม่หอดได้ดิมาตรงตรงจะไปไม่ได้ค่าจ่ายกว่ามีเนี่ยมีขึ้นตามขึ้นไหนเนี่ยบ่เน
ไอ้ตัวเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเ
the element of budget are shima ram hope no do element of budget lo do pyo ga ati ma so do not so ya halo do ti don lo ga le no pyo jana ko project khu ma so ko tai ma lao be pe me so a lo ma budget ga la bi da bo no ne tai lo ne no lo dang a thau pe me so a me ba ra ma shi wo no limitation tro lo ma lo lo tha le no to ko khu lo me so a ra no ya so constraint lo kho ba le so ja no do shin bi a fa le အဲ့လိုလို့ဒီပရောဂျက်တစ်ခုလုပ်မယ်ဆိုရင်ဘာဖြစ်လို့လဲဆိုတော့တစ်ချို့ချို့ဟာလေးတွေကလိမစ်တ
ไอ้ตัวรีซอร์สอยู่ด้วยค่ะจ้ะเองโหลๆเลยเนี่ยเอาซอร์สไปโหลๆเปลี่ยนเลยสิอะแล้วเนื้อหาเนี่ยบัด
ยาจะเฟรมเวิร์ดตะคุบ่เนาะอจาร์เฟรมเวิร์ดตะคุชีอะล่ะอาจารย์เลสบีนับบ้านจะดิสคัชชั่นเนี่ยมันพามันบ่
ยังมาเลยเจ้าบ่ยังมาเลยยังมาเลยจุ๊บๆยังมาเลยอยู่ซ่องเนี่ยอันนี้เราเจ้าบ่ล่ะอสิ้นดีล่ะยังมาเลย
ตัวเราเนาะตัวโปรเจกต์แมเนจเมนต์ของเทนเนอร์ของเราเดี๋ยวเนาะถ้ามาจนเราพิสูจน์ไปเป็นเราเนาะเดี๋ยวเราเทน
ดาวฟังชั่นออร์แกเนเซชั่นเดียวบ่เนาะดาวฟังชั่นออร์แกเนเซชั่นเนี่ยจองตัวเปียร์ฟังชั่นเนี่ยอนาคตออร์แกเน
ဒီမှာတော့ဒါဒီသုံးမျိုးအပြင်ပေါ့เนาะနောက်တစ်ခုကဘာလေဆိုတော့ပရောဂျက်ပရောဂျက်တိုက်ဓာတ်ဩဂ
ไอ้เราก็ไอ้เราทํามาจ้ะเราโพสต์อ่ะแล้วเราตัดจําเลยเนี่ยไอ้เราอ่ะแกเนี่ยชื่อมาซ้อยมาแล้วอาจารย์เ
都性别的好不咯，性别的好，嗯，男方面的不咯，哦，男的话的不咯，那比如白人嘛，主要本来是性别不咯，他叫做你。จำนวนมีอะไรบ้างเราจะรู้สิ่งตัวอัปปุ่มมาฟังเสียงนั้นมันจะเจอตัวตัวเส้นสีมาบีอาซีอูอย่างอัปปุ่มมาฟังเสียงนั้นมันจะเป็นรู้สิ่งตัวอัปปุ่มจำนวนจะตัวอันเช็คกันหาเลยอาสูรู้สิ่งอัปปุ่มจำนวนจะอัปปุ่มจำนวนจะรู้ตัวอันนี้วิวกระเป๋าเต็มรู้สิ่งอัปปุ่มจำนวนจะเต็มอัปปุ่มจำนวนจะเส้นมาเบื้องที่ฟังเสียงนั้นมันจะเต็มบ้างเนาะแต่แต่ตามเดียวบ้างเนาะเราวิวสตาร์มาทรีว์จะรู้น่าเลยครับเราจะรู้สิ่งตัวอันจะรู้ซีอูเนี่ยตัวอันนี้วิวแต่ละตัวอันนี้วิวสิ่งนี้เลยบีอาตัวเย่เลเวียจะรู้เอ่อฟังเสียงนั้ตัวเราตัดตัดตัวนี้เราชินเองไหมตัวเราชินตัวนี้เราเทคุณพิมพ์มาบ้างเนาะโอเคดูเดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยวก็เบื่อหายเดี๋ยวเราเลี้ยงมาเลยวะเนาะฮอบบาร์บี้เราจะว่าดูเงี้ยเรียบพัสดุที่ข้างข้างเอ็นข้างข้างเนี่ยมาเลี้ยงเชียงปูถุยเบื่อจีมาเนี่ยเนี่ยวะเนาะก็เบื่อเลี้ยงน้าเลยเลยเดี๋ยวมีวะเนาะมาเลี้ยงว่าเจ้าน้าเลยจะว่าเลี้ยงเลยจะว่าก็มีอะไรยังมีเลยที่วันนี้มาลูกเบี้ยเดี๋ยวเนาะวิญญาณเบื่อมาท่าของเบื่อมาเจ้าน้าเขาเลยดิวิญญาณเจ้าเจ้าเนาะเกี่ยวข้างข้างเนี่ยเรียบพัสดุ We are we are not like that. We are just that. Hahaha. So let's go. Let's see. So now, public speaking, just like that. Let's go. Do you want to do that? Let's go. 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 Let the model of functional organization is uh, we weak metric to balance metric to strong metric to uh, objective organization also we are people but now I live who or she knows she not teach her to you she open patching the LA okay come on to the mother reading a pile on a general to be reading a patty on this or to be a hard kind of seven is we made a dual one less ten at the lab to say many gali and now you look at seven it's over like that dealer Alo so lah, cina so, saya mungkin kan nyai pun ni, di mana so di hari itu lepas cina ni, ni ni, wana, di mana so di tu ya di di hari belajar mana introduction tu belajar mana cuma mana so tu ada di belajar belajar tu ya prinsip dari practice ni, pada tu ada side ni, pihak tu ada sedia ambali lepas tu ada slide mana tu pihak ni belajar macam ni, wow, okay, kuna lepas tu di hari ya, kuna lepas tu di kai lain mana tu ada kita belajar belajar hari ni, wana, 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 kita belajar belajar di PMI mereka lebih dari hari itu nasi ya manual itu sesi tu mana hari itu sesi tu nampak oh my god PMI saya awak hari tu coba tu hari mana di masa ni kena alat suruh tu ajin cuci di bawah tu alat di hari ini nasi ya mesti tu bawa lu ada mana kalau di ni ada lu ada lu ni ni so alat ni mama hari ini kena tu semen ni ke hari itu tu cek semen ni hari itu tu coba lagi dah mana ni mana nyai pan ye ni mana di di slide ni 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 dia pergi dah pukau mana ni ni pergi dah tu bawa tu awak ni ni cek lagi dah lah bermalam hari mana di ngah di PMI bapak cek ni bapak cek project ni program bawa tu cek nalar itu dah trip konsen ni apa lah itu di project mana jasa apa lah mana organisation ni influence ni apa ide saya kura apa ide life cycle concept ni apa ide project mana as a plan mana lepas ni ni tu coba dah ni hanya pada lu beli lah ni tu bawa mana saya mana suruh tu coba belak belak jam tu coba saya mana berjam ni okay last week mana saya mana jalan jalan dia Aku ada masuk ini, di kuna aku na PMI itu boleh, bukan PMI ngah Project Management Institute itu boleh, bukan? Di sini tu tu di website tu aku kena kalau lelai ya, itu nama orang macam tu. Adik aku baru lelai so di tu adik di tu ya adik aku intention aja lah. Di Project Management ni pada tu ya kai di bawah tu, ni aku tu ada alam orang tu, di kalau sana ni sana susi ni, aplikasi apa susi ni, mana apply orang orang tu susi ni, bukan? Jadi aku di mana konsen saya susu kalau macam tu, ni aku alam orang tu tu boleh susu boleh, bukan? Aku ni ada boleh tu, bukan? Orang tu tu ya use pun ada sih, tu mana kau nak ada sih? Tu ya di sesat pun ada, ni aku lu ke buat sih apa dia tu, bukan? Orang tu tu buat apa le? Community tu dia lihat tu macam tu, ni dia macam tu boleh ni tu, kalau ni institusi barai ni sih ada, alu sura tu aku nak tu. Alu sura ni di mana tu? Kau nak di slide ni buat siapa di mana tu? Sorry bah, alat new lah mana? Mana tu? Di masa ni, kuna alat suruh di mabah tu beli apa? No, di PMI gay gar eh, perhal itu di di area ni, orang di kalau dia suruh tu beli apa? Kuna alat suruh di mabah tu di integration tu, di mabah integration apa? Beli apa? Kuna integration suruh apa? Beli apa? Suruh hal ni, dah tak kena kuku lalu dia, dia dia lain di kalau dia ni, dia suruh tu beli apa? No, di hal ni alat suruh sabtu dia orang kau mula, dah mula belum ni ni, di hal ni ah, ni ni kuku ni ni pernah masuk ni, alat suruh ni ni apa? No, sabtu dia suruh dia malu dia ambil apa? Ni yang ni, dulu dia ambil apa? No, sabtu dia luke luke kain kain buat apa? Dia orang kain orang buat apa? No, apa? No Hello, so ada dua belok jauh, nama belok kain mah, ini mah, ini mah belok kain dia belok jauh, ho. Hello, so ada dua belok jauh.
ဒီတိုင်းဆိုတာပါဘူးပြောတာလဲအခေါ်ဆိုတာပါဘူးပြောထားလဲဒီကွက်လက်တီဆိုတာပါဘူးပြောထားလဲ the project couldn't be the best idea. The alone crowd, no. The story and customer finance of value, the way the impact of the way the design, a alone that say who are look for, no. The share who are that look at the different number two, no. I just have to say, the finance ma, finance become is business ma, no. Stakeholder and shareholder and number two one be stockholder and share the shareholder and share stockholder and share, no. It's the only I send to your ma a confusing thing on tonight. ဒီဟာတခုနဲ့ပတ်တန်ဘရိရသက်ဆိုင်တယ်တက်ဆိုင်လို့အားလုံးအားနေရအားတွေကစိတ်ဟိုတာပဲဒီပရောဂျက်န
ขณะรีสแมเนจเมนต์มาไอ้เดนเนี่ยยีบายวันนั้นกว่าดีมอนิเตอร์ลูกอ่ะส่วนอะไรกว่าโปรเจกต์คุณลองโอเวอร์ซ